Whoops, I had to move the camera for some reason. Why did I have to move it? I don't remember why I had to move it, but I did. There was a reason to my madness. Um, today's date, well, first my name, Jim Howard, and I am in Fort Worth, Texas. I'm going to cover up this ugly head. Oops. Can't put it over the top, can I? Hang on. There we go. Now I gotta cover up my ugly face. Anyway, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is March 7th of 2019. And as you can see, I've been watching Windows Weekly. And Mary Jo Foley there was saying that she tried out the Microsoft's new, or not new, it's updated uh, things for you do stuff. And she was out there at the thing, and she she wasn't able to get the items, uh, icons or whatever that were out there. And uh, Microsoft people were saying, "No, no, you're 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 not there yet for them. Oh, you're too close or whatever." And uh, the uh, Twit host here, I forget his name, he said, uh, told Mary Jo, he says, try this, try touching your fingers. You know, and he did that, you know, he touched his fingers. And so then she's doing, she's doing this. So then he was talking to her about uh, the type of, that she has some, you know, and that the next time she sees her uh, eye doctor or whatever, she should, you know, tell him or whatever. And so then they were talking about other things, and then I was, well, of course, I, I did that to see if I could do that. But then I was, like, covering up one eye and covering up the other. I don't wear glasses. I'm, you know, I haven't had my uh, prescription updated, and the only reason I was wearing glasses was, you know, when I was driving. But I do need glasses, as you know. If you watch my videos, I'm cussing and swearing that I can't, you know, have to use a flashlight to see little print, you know, and just everything. Um, so, I, we have been ordering Amazon, um, you know, food from Amazon. It's a great service because for us and for a lot of other people because, uh, you know, we don't have a car. And so it works out okay. I'm not going to show you this order, but I'll tell you. There's, we ordered 17 items in. Uh, how many of those do you think were 24 packs of Coke? Ten. Ten packs of Coke coming in. Uh, in a few days, my ex-wife and my our grown son will be going to Walmart and then they'll pick up some stuff and they won't have to pick up uh, 10 packs of Coke. You people are going to give me a hard time about that, aren't you? And I know I should not be drinking Coke. But do you know what the government puts in our water? And it saps our vital fluids. Yes, conspiracy. Um, one reason I'm not going to show what the list is because down here on my uh, address would show up. So uh, let's see what the news is, and then I'm going to bring this to a conclusion. And then I'm going to make probably a YouTube video. General Motors is gone. Here's what could replace it. The future of manufacture is taking place in an old warehouse full of 3D printers. You know, when the 3D printers first came out, 
I thought, that's really, you know, and I thought I should, of course, they were really expensive. And as far as I'm, I'm seeing, I mean, the prices are way down. Um, I'm not smart enough. You know, I've seen people, you know, doing things with them, putting, having to put in the, uh, using CAD or uh, different things and adjusting. And I just couldn't. I wish I could. I wish I was smart enough to be able to do that. Just, oh, it's over my pay grade. Uh, you know, I started out life in manufacturing. I, I, uh, well, when I went to, I went to a military high school, and I, uh, my intention, I've told this story before, I'll tell it again. I have a captive audience, right? Don't touch that mouse. Uh, I fully intended to go into the military and serve 20 years in the Army and come out. And uh, I was 40 pounds under the minimum weight requirement. And... Uh, so anyway, my uh, father paid for me to go because he had read a book. A lot of people at that time read a book, How to Make a Million Dollars in Real Estate, which nowadays nobody would, you know, if you put out a book, you, you can't put out a book that says make a million dollars in real estate or something else. It has to be, you know, make 25 million in real estate or something because people are so jaded now. Um, but anyway, he read the book and a lot of other people did. And so he paid for me. I didn't want to go to real estate school, but the Army had just turned me down, and I hadn't had any other thoughts. So I went to real estate school and graduated real estate school and was not interested in it at all. I should have, really. I would have been, you know. Uh, so my father paid for me to go to welding school, and I went to welding school and came back from the Lincoln Electric Company's welding school in Cleveland, Ohio, actually Euclid, Ohio. This is going to, I don't have a car. What do you think this is going to be about? Hello. Hi, this is Michael Ross with an important message about your vehicle. We've been trying to reach you about your car's warranty. We recently sent you something in the mail about your extended warranty expiring. They called yesterday. We get a response from you. We're just reaching out to you one last time before we close your file. And your extended and warranty is canceled. I even... Would you like to speak to a specialist? Oh, yes. Please continue to hold for the next available representative. I talked to him yesterday, too. Yes, David. Yes, David. You guys called yesterday, and I told the lady yesterday that we don't have a car. Absolutely. I'll make sure that I update the file here for you, sir. You have a great day, okay? I appreciate it. Thank you very much. No problem at all. Okay. You know, anybody want to bet any money that they will call tomorrow? Uh, I'm back. Uh, where was I? Oh, anyway, I came back from welding school and started working as a welder immediately. Uh, Darby Corporation. Then I worked Mastercraft Metal. Then I worked Darby Corporation. And then I, well, I won't go through the whole list. Ended up working, went to a, a a Texaco refinery in Convent, Louisiana, and worked down there on it, and worked for, I said I wasn't going to tell you. Oh, anyway, so, uh, yeah, I worked in manufacturing and then ended up uh, not working in manufacturing. Uh, uh, my wife and I had a trop, I, I was 26, she was 18, we got, when I, met her she was, was just opening up a tropical fish shop we got married so we had a tropical fish shop i quit working after a year or so because she wanted me to be home with her all the time because she loved me so much and uh 
because she needed somebody to run the tropical fish shop. Uh, so I quit working at the KW Dart Trucking Company where I was working in the Dart Division where I worked in the body shop where we made bodies for these trucks that were gigantic. They trucks wouldn't go on the road, you know, you've seen these gigantic mining trucks. You see somebody maybe standing next to the wheel and the wheels up there. Uh, the driver who has to climb into the thing gets a nosebleed when he climbs up into it. Uh, so then we had a tropical fish shop for four years and then we had a then I worked for a security comp two or three security companies for a little bit, very short period of time. And then we I started my own patrol service, had it about a year. And then I ended up working hospital security for thirty years or so. And why did I get on that subject? Um, I do not know. Uh, these, the headset is working, working good. The good, the audio is good. I just feel like I should be using something sexier. I did a radio program back when I was in high school for a year that was broadcast uh, over shortwave radio to Europe, Africa, and Latin America for about a year. And uh, thank God there are no recordings of that. Who thank God. And uh, also, back when I was in high school, I put out a publication for shortwave listeners that went out to 500 people a month. I did that for several years. Um, back when I was putting that thing out using a mimeograph machine, Hell, you people don't know what a mimeograph machine is. Hell, you don't know what a typewriter is. You don't know what tubes are. Oh, my God. You young whippersnappers. Manfred is facing 25 years in prison to be sentenced today. So, I think that's, uh, oh, let me update you a little bit on what's, uh, I haven't done the scanning yet on the scanner here, on the printer scanner, you know. Look at all that dust. Um, I hate scanning stuff. Still got the same two monitors hooked up keyboard looks good, doesn't it? I think that's, uh, I think that's it. Uh, what can I get you to do? If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I would like to hit three. Th I've been at 2,700 and something subscribers. I'd like to hit 3,000. I don't know why. Well, when I hit 3,000, I'll say, hey, let's go for 5,000. So, oh, let's see if my food order, where is it? See if it's on the way. No, they're still preparing it. Usually when we order like this, the time frame that we pick, you know, usually a bang, they're, they're on their way right away. So, but they're not this time. But... Really, we should have ordered more uh, food items. Got some hot dogs, come, has actually sausages and buns and bread, and should have ordered some more food. So, um,
please use that link. Please set up a bookmark or something and uh, I'll get a commission when you go there and then purchase something on Amazon. Whether you purchase the item, you know, that are there. If as long as you go there and then you decide to order something, please order something massively expensive. Does does Amazon sell cars? I don't know. But they sell everything. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.